my name is Chris Dennis, and a big move for me would be going down a wave really fast, bottom turning and hitting the lip so hard that my fins come clean out of the back of the wave. What is required to do a turn like this is uh, pure commitment, leg strength, a lot of core muscles, and a go for it attitude. Like, I'm going to pull this off and do this no matter what. Whatever you do in life, do it big. Carry Brewery's storage capacity has been bursting at the seams and in need of expansion. Three new tanks have been ordered, but with each tank weighing a whopping 35 tons and measuring over 70 feet in length, bringing the tanks from Port of Spain to the brewery at Charflair will be a technical feat, best left to the serious contenders. The tanks will be the largest cargo move through the city in history. This is starting to look like a big move. We've been talking about this job since late last year. And, and detailed planning really started about January this year. It requires the input of so many different people. So to get everybody on the same page has been challenging, but, but here we are today. We were contacted by CARB some time ago, and we took the decision to um, allow the safe piloting of the equipment of CARB from Invaders Bay to CARB Compound at Champlain. This is the first time any equipment or any vessel of this magnitude is coming through the capital city. It will exit by Movie Town, right, and come down Rice Road. From Rice Road, it would go on to the Beatum Highway. From the Beatum Highway, it will make the turn off by Maritime Plaza and onto the bus route. This route was chosen because it has the least overhead lines and absolutely no overpass and no walkover. This is what we do every day. In the grand scheme of things, they, they appear to be big, but we move cargo that is 10 times bigger, 10 times heavier, but it is challenging because of the, the route and all of the people that need to work together to make it happen. We have an intricate network of overhead lines that we have to de-energize, and of course, in some cases, raise the overhead lines to allow the safe passage of the equipment. All we do is um, lift it a couple inches until you clear the studs that bolt it down to the ground, and then you just swing it out of the way in whichever direction you want and then put it back to how it's supposed to be. It is important that people recognize what our capabilities are. It took us 12 hours to reach from Port of Spain, Port to Chanfle. At the end of the day, when you accomplish something like this, it's something to rejoice about. The load itself is 35 tons and the trailer is 28 tons, but you know, it's good for over 100 tons. Excellent coordination in terms of project planning and project execution for us at Carib Brewery, supported by Paramount Transport and all of the other stakeholders in Trinidad and Tobago that have come together to make this historic thing happen. From the very start, we said there's only one company in our eyes that we could do a job like this with. There's only one company we trust to do that, and that's Paramount Transport. And in my opinion, it's something that Trinidad and Tobago could be proud of. The final tank is lowered into place. It's the end of the road for the new hardware, and a great success. Another big move by Paramount Transport. <laughs> that is a big move.